guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting how I edit my photos um, in a tutorial version. So today I'm going to actually sit down and go through with you step by step on how I edit my photos on my phone. So I use a software called Adobe Lightroom to edit my photos on my phone. Um, it's free if you download it on the App Store. You can download it for iPhone. I think for Android you can download it too. And it's free, but on the laptop you will have to buy a license to use it. I do have the laptop version, but I don't use it a lot, mainly because I'm always on the go and I much prefer to just edit my photos on my phone. It's a lot simpler. It has, it doesn't have such advanced functions. So if you are kind of like a beginner like me and you just want to get started with learning on how to edit on Lightroom, then this is the tutorial for you. Um, make sure you download Lightroom first before you follow along on my tutorial because that's what we will be using. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up to see more of related videos in the future. Okay, so before I start, I just want to mention that I do have Lightroom presets that I've created myself and they are available on my blog. You can go on my blog and you can see all the presets links there. But today I'm going to be editing two of my most popular photos using the two presets that you can download on my blog. So let's get started. So first we're going to go into Lightroom and this is where I store all my photos and we're going to be editing this picture. So this picture is something that I took with my camera which is the Canon EOS Mark II 6D. This picture was taken during sunrise in Washington and you can see that the cherry blossoms at the background is not very pink so in real life they may look super pink but we have to do some kind of post editing process to make them pop in the picture. So what I be using to edit this photo is a specific preset that I created just for this type of lighting and it's called the Sakuras and I'll be going down here so once you can see that once I've applied the Karina times Sakura 1 preset to this photo it automatically changes its color see the before and the after before and after. So my type of editing style is I like my pictures to be more pink toned and more pastel. So you can see that the before is darker and the after is what you'll see on my Instagram feed for example. So what I usually do is after I apply my preset, I generally don't tweak it um, anymore than I would originally do. So when this picture is in the state, if you want for your own preference to kind of change the colors a bit, you can play around with the temperature, you can make it warmer like this, or you can make it cooler like this if you like the blues to stand out more. Um, I also play around with the saturation, so you can make it more unsaturated or you can make the colors pop even more. It's all up to you. So for this particular one, I'm just going to stop here because this is how I like the final look to to look, final photo to look, and if you want to get this particular preset, you can just go into my blog and download the Sakura preset. So now I'm going to show you another uh, photo that I took using my iPhone, just so you can compare the differences. So we're going to go back to our presets folder. I'm going to choose this photo. So this photo was taken during sunset. Um, you can see that it's very dark. This is what the before looks like. And what I'll be doing is I'll be applying another preset that I made just for this particular situation. And it's the Karina and Palms. So, wait for it to load. This is the finished product that you see on Instagram. So this is the picture that I posted on Instagram and this is the before. So this is the original picture and this was the after. Again, you can see that I really pulled out all the colors and I really diminished all the shadows in the back. So again, before and after. This is edited using my palms preset. Again, just like the first one, if you want to tweak the colors or tweak the hue or the saturation more, you can easily go into here in Lightroom and just play around with the sliding bars. Um, another thing I really like about Lightroom is you can actually go into particular colors. So for example, if I want my skies to look more turquoise, I can just hit the blue color here and drag the hue more to the left. 
this way it gives it more like a Tiffany color um, sky and this way it's more purplish. So you can play around it even after you've applied the preset to your photos. So there you have it. This is how I edited my second photo and this photo was taken using the iPhone X. So by the way, if you're unfamiliar with my blog, this is what my blog looks like on your phone. It's compatible with any mobile device. So if you go to karinamango.com slash presets, you'll arrive on this page here, which basically gives you a free preset if you just want to download it first just to test it out and to see if you like the process. And just to show you the before and afters, you can actually play around with the sliders on the presets page and see the before and the afters. So I have a total of three presets up for sale right now, and they're $12 each. So I have the Karina and Sakura preset, the Bahamas Sunrise preset, and the Palms preset, which we just used to edit our Palms photo. So just to give you an idea, you can actually slide around with the sliders and see which number of the Palms that you like. The reason we've created four versions of one preset is because we actually want to cater to people with all kinds of different preferences because not everyone likes you know, not everyone may like the same way I edit my photos or the way that my photos um, fit with my feed. So we've created different versions of the same preset just so you can play around the colors yourself and see which one you like the most to apply to yours. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of this video. I hope you find it useful and I hope you actually take the time to go to my blog and download the free preset because why not, it's free anyway. So if you already have Lightroom on your phone, make sure you download my preset and a free guide to go along to help you step by step. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other video requests on what I should be doing or if there's something that I've mentioned in this video that you don't quite understand but you want me to go into more detail on, feel free to leave me a message in the comment box down below and I read every single one of it by the way and I reply to you so <laughs> leave me a message. I love reading comments. <laughs> See you next time. Bye!